so you might have a problem like I do. I have a hard time deciding between streaming to YouTube and streaming to Twitch. So can I do both? The answer is yes, and I'll show you how in today's tutorial. Stay tuned. So there's one thing I have to say before we get started on this. If you are a partnered streamer with Twitch, it's probably a bad idea to use this method. Just because, in your agreement, it does say you're only supposed to stream with Twitch. So if you end up using this method, you'll probably get yourself in trouble. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So in order to stream to YouTube and Twitch, Simultaneously, you'll need to go to this lovely page called Restream.io. And this is the part where I tell you to make an account with this page. When you first make an account, you'll see this blank page. In order to add a service to stream to, you click the Add Channel button. You can log in with up to 30 different services to stream to simultaneously with Restream.io. And for an extra $5 a month, you could have access to doubling. This means that you could stream to two different accounts underneath the same service. So for example, if you wanted to stream to two different Twitch accounts or two different YouTube accounts, you could do that with this feature called doubling. Pretty handy. So let's move on to starting up with Twitch. It's all fairly simple. Just click connect Twitch, log in with your account, and you're done. That's all you need. If you'd like to change the server where Twitch is, click on the gear and you'll see a drop down menu under auto detect and choose your local server. You can choose auto detect for simpleness, it'll work fine either way, but if you're picky, choose the local server. Now since I also want to add a YouTube channel, I click the add channel button, pick YouTube gaming, connect YouTube, and log in as usual. Now while I was recording this video, I noticed that Restream added a new little feature up here on the drop down menu. It's called titles. Okay, so here's what Restream did. They actually added different sections for naming your individual channels. So for example, if you wanted to name the game that you're playing on Twitch to the correct category on Twitch to be able to be seen correctly, you could do that. And you could call it whatever you wanted. So like Destiny Restream.io stream. Yeah. And you hit update, it will show on your Twitch page. And same thing with YouTube. If you want to rename it something else, Restream.io stream. Update. You'll see it updated on your YouTube page. Now, the hardest part of this whole setup, which is still pretty simple, is setting up your streaming software to send to Restream.io. Here's how you do that. What you see here is OBS Studio Settings, and you click on Stream, and from the Service window, you click Restream.io from the drop-down menu. Simple as that. And the server you'll pick is the one closest to you, which in my case is Dallas, because Washington's far away. And your Stream key will be seen over here, underneath your Stream key on Restream.io's page. You'll copy and paste this into this block right here. Do not let anyone see this key besides yourself. This is your gateway to their service. If anybody else has it, Restream will think it's you. So don't let anyone see it. Now, if you use regular OBS to stream instead of OBS Studio, here's how you set that up. You click on Settings, Broadcast Settings, and underneath the streaming service up here, you'll need to make a custom streaming service because there isn't a Restream listed down here. Now you see this FMS URL block? It's the same URL you see over here underneath your server location. So you copy and paste that into the FMS block and the stream key is right here. Copy and paste it into here, hit apply and okay, and you're done. Now you may be wondering, how on earth am I gonna monitor all of those chats at once? Well, thankfully, Restream has a system for that already. It's called Restream Chat. It is literally an application you download to your Windows computer and you can view all your chats at once. It's literally as simple as downloading and installing the software, logging in, and just typing. It sends chat and receives chat from both or all of the services that you stream to. 
So if you're streaming to YouTube and Twitch, if you tend to send a message, it'll send it to both. If you have bots that control your chat in either one, you send commands, and they'll show up in your chat. This might be a little confusing for your viewers, because those that are in YouTube won't see Twitch's chat unless they have Twitch's chat open, and vice versa. But this way, you can stream to both YouTube and Twitch simultaneously for all of your viewers to watch on their preferred platforms. Now after you've got that all set up and your streaming software is ready to go, you hit start streaming on your preferred platform and after a few seconds you should see it pop up in the right hand corner right up there and that means that you're live to restream and it's sending it off. Now those toggle switches you see next to the gears, those are basically the on switches for the services that you want to send to. So instead of setting it all up and then deleting a channel, before you start streaming you can select which ones you want to stream to. So just as a side note, if you disable one service while you're broadcasting, it will not stop broadcasting until you restart your streaming software. So don't try to disable it while you're broadcasting. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know I had fun making it. If you like what you see, go ahead and click like or leave a comment, whatever you want to do. If you hated it, click dislike. Any feedback is appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.